Hey guys, welcome to Cars in the Community. Today we're taking a 2019 Honda CRV over to Action for Animals Humane Society in Latrobe, PA to get a tour of the facility and speak with them about their upcoming event, Love is in the Air. Thanks for letting us come out today, Luann. Sure. So can you go ahead and tell us a little bit about the history of the Humane Society, how it got started here? We started about 36 years ago, a group of people got together and we started out in a small kennel out in uh, by Keystone State Park. And in 2007, we decided we needed to expand and we bought the old Goofy Golf Course here and it's been awesome. We do dogs, we do cats, if animal control comes in with something strange, snakes, uh, tarantulas. We had an alligator. During a year we usually average bringing in anywhere from a thousand to fourteen hundred animals. We adopt out about nine hundred. Um, we like to get some people in to volunteer. It's always fun. They come in and they, I like to keep them mostly with playing with the dogs because the shelter staff can do all the cleaning and the maintenance and, and that. They have more time to sit and play mm -hmm. and that's what they need. All of our pets here um, are all spayed and neutered before they go out the door. Everybody's microchipped. Everybody has all their shots, swarming. The only thing you've got to buy when you go out to the store is a Pennsylvania dog license, which is required by the state of Pennsylvania. On the other hand, to help supplement our income, we do run a low-cost spay-neuter program here. Anybody can come in. Well, the Rabies Clinic is a walk-in clinic, and it's open from 5 to 7. You just walk in. We take care of the shots for your animal. Um, the spay-neuter clinic, you do have to call and make an appointment for that to come in. Every day is an adventure here. You never know what you're going to run into. Um, the last big adventure we had, and we're still dealing with some of those dogs, was in August. We received a phone call from the Washington County Humane Agent down there that she was in dire need of help. So we rushed down at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we came upon the state troopers all there, and they said, we're going to four-wheel you guys into a farm. On this farm, there was 97 short hairs, German pointer short hairs, purebreds, in horrid conditions. They were kept and thrown in barns. We literally had to wade through feces to get to them. Um, we took 97 dogs off of that farm that night. We had to be four-wheeled in, and we had to walk each dog out. And I still have five of these dogs. They came out with mange so bad that they were naked. We can't get hair to grow back on them. We had one dog, we call him Shrush. He's awesome. Um, he's about six years old, and how he survived is beyond me. He had an open palate that went from the front of his mouth to the back of his mouth, also from side to side on the soft. Um, we sent him out to Ohio State, and $4,000 later, we got the roof of his mouth fixed, and for the first time, he could eat without it going into his nasal cavity. The short hairs have been probably our most challenging this year with that, um, but they're doing awesome, and everybody right now, as of today, they're all up for adoption. We still have eight left out of the 19 that we took off that farm that night. Um, they were scattered between different humane societies. So we wound up with 19 and then on September the 11th we got three more and they were the three worst skin cases. So naturally it was Towers, Shanksville, and Pentagon because we decided to do the 9-11. So Smell, we're out here because of the upcoming Love is in the Air event. That event is going to be February 16th, a Saturday evening. Can you just tell us a little bit about how that event helps benefit the shelter here? Oh, it benefits us greatly. Um, that's another aspect for our volunteers to help us raise money. On the average, it costs us anywhere from $2,000 to $2,500 a day here at the shelter just to run it. That's the electricity, that's caring for the animals, that's the staff, that's everything. So we're looking at about $800,000 a year. So the money from these events help us tremendously in just keeping a roof over our head, the electric on, and the animals fed and cared for. You can go on to Pet Finder to see any of our dogs up for adoption. You can also visit our site. We have all of our dogs listed that are up for adoption on our site. Um, basically what you do is come in when we're open. We're open on Sundays 12 to 3, Tuesdays 12 to 7, Thursdays 12 to 6, Friday 12 to 4, Saturday 12 to 4. Come in, fill out an adoption. We need proof of home ownership, um, stuff on your pets at home. We do greet and meets if you have pets at home to make sure that everybody gets happy. Naturally, we humans, we always want to accumulate pets, but we also have to take in concern that some of our pets at home might not like that other pet. So we have to make sure that everybody's a happy camper. 
A big thanks to Luann and the staff at the Action for Animals Humane Society for letting us come check it out. If you would like to get more information on the shelter, go ahead and visit their website at afashelter.org. And remember to come out to the Love is in the Air event Saturday, February 16th at 6 p.m. at the Christ Our Shepherd Center. This has been Cars in the Community. Thanks for watching.